I'm running out of patience. Have you finally acquired the mutant Tukata brain, or should I send someone else? I got what you wanted. Ha! <sighs> Wonderful! Let me see it. I'm sure you'll find it satisfactory. Look at the mottling along the frontal lobe. Oh, I can't wait to analyze this. You've done me a great service, but now I must continue my research. If there's nothing else? Melora asked me to sabotage your experiment. Is that so? Melora, if you can't show my work the appreciation it deserves, there's no place for you as my apprentice. Wait, Master. It's a lie. I haven't betrayed you. I know the truth when I hear it, Melora. I'm releasing you from my service. Eventually. Master! Please! Stop! No! My dear, the pain for you is only beginning. Take your reward and leave. Melora and I have much to discuss. You should reward me for exposing this traitor. Eliminating an enemy of the Sith Empire is its own reward. Go now. is confirmed. Yes, can I help you with something? Hold on. Are those the research supplies we were after? I'd given up on them days ago. You've no idea how much I appreciate this. Some of these chemicals take months to manufacture. Not much use to you, but vital to us. Thank you. You're welcome to use some of our equipment as compensation. I'll make sure to mention you to the commander.
You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. <sighs> Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? No, Overseer. No objections. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? I don't really think about it one way or the other. I did as I was told. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead Lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. I will return, and with the text. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave! Come here, child. Do you intend to explore the Academy? To know the world that gave birth to the Sith? You should linger here a while. I am Overseer Raggate, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. I have better things to do. Better than the opportunity I offer? You have power and strength in the Force. But you must be tested beyond the trials your masters have set for you. I administer the rite of blood and bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. You have my complete undivided attention. In the chambers past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyrax, my leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls. An altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. And once I reach the bones? You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the right is to accept one's death, to steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power, as are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you. <laughs> 